We are recording this video for Texas Instruments Innovation Challenge India Analog Design Contest 2014. Title of our project is Energy Generation Through Everyday Work from Piezoelectric Material. I am Sanjit Jain, he is Darshit Shah, our mentor is Professor P. N. Kapil. We are from Nirma University Institute of Technology. This is the block diagram of our project. Here first we have your piezoelectric material. The extracted energy from piezoelectric material is variable in nature. That's why we have used microcontroller MSP430. <clears throat> the control output from microcontroller is fed to LM3914 voltage level detector circuit through which we can get the approximate idea of how much voltage we are extracting from the circuit. Then this control output can be fed to two applications the first one battery charging circuit and the later one LM331 voltage to frequency converter here this is the circuit the output from the voltage to frequency converter can be fed to further applications such as signal transmission this is the design through which we have expected to extract the energy in this design we have connected arrays of piezoelectric material in series parallel connection the piezoelectric material that we have used is this one. This upper white surface behaves as positive terminal and the lower one, this one, this surface behaves as negative terminal when we press like this. These are the two piezoelectric materials soldered wires and they both are connected in parallel with this LED. So now we will show you the test. Here is our simple test circuit. This two piezoelectric materials connected with LED. Now I will be using this rubber surface to press both of these materials simultaneously. Now to showcase you the glow, I am switching off the lights. So this LED has glowed. So before telling you something more about this, this LED is of the rating of 1.5 volt and 10 milliampere. Even if I expect that this LED has glowed half. Ah. Even if I assume that our LED has glowed half, then our output is in the range of 7 to 10 millivolt. These are the two surfaces that we have used in our design. One piezo can give about 1.5 volt. So, for an example, a 3 volt battery we can connect to two piezos in series and all this similar pair in parallel way. So, our design model is this. We can mount model one by one layer on this and press our foot like this due to some design constraints we have not been able to get the desired output these are the two surfaces that we have used in our design each piezo is about 1.5 volt <coughs> so for an example if we are to use it for the energy extraction of 3 volt battery we can connect these two piezos in series and all these pairs can be connected in parallel for the energy extraction purpose. We can mount this one layer on this and the final layer above this and press our leg like this. Due to some design constraints, we have not been able to extract the desired output. After the extraction circuit, here comes the microcontroller part. It is the best thing that we have got from Texas Instrument Company. It is MSP430 Value Line Launchpad Development Tool. It has many great features like it contains embedded USB powered emulation tool, integrated DIP target socket supporting up to 20 pins, onboard programmable LEDs and push buttons set and reset, supports all MSP430 value line and SPI BiWare devices. With this microcontroller, we have got this M430 G2452 20 pin IC plus this male and female headers to the pins of which we can connect input and output circuits so that our main circuit does not get hurt. Plus, we have got this USB data cable. This USB port can be connected to your PC and laptops through which you can control this microcontroller through your programming. Some other amazing features are like input voltage limit 3.6 volt. It is an ultra low power microcontroller plus it has got inbuilt 10 bit analog to digital converter 
plus 16 bit timer circuits with the use of this microcontroller circuit we can control our output in specific range and fit this to this circuit right now we are facing some difficulties in programming part that's why we have not been able to utilize this controller properly output from this microcontroller can be fit to this circuits as i mentioned earlier this first one is lm3914 voltage level detector circuit we have not been able to arrange this circuit in a proper visible manner that's why i thought of showing you this pin diagram these are the nine leds input from microcontroller this leds will show you the output approximate output say one volt one led five volt five leds in this manner some great features about this lm3914 ic internal 10 step driver is floating and can be referenced to a wide range of voltages output current programmable from 2 mA to 30 mA input which stands plus or minus 30 volt without damage or false outputs drives leds lcds vacuum fluorescent and so many other in the very same way we can connect the microcontroller output to the input of lm331 voltage to frequency converter this IC actually converts the input voltage into proportional frequency pulse strain. Here we have showcased you the pin diagram of this IC. The equivalent circuit we have connected here. The output of this circuit can be fit to optocoupler or save amplifier. Thus we can get the signal transmission through it. Some great features of this LM331 voltage to frequency converter circuit. The first one ensure linearity of 0.01% maximum. Right? Split or single supply operation operates on single 5 volt supply. Pulse output compatible with all logic forms. Low power consumption only about 15 millivolt, typical at 5 volt. Wide range of full scale frequency 1 hertz to 100 kilohertz. And the most important thing, it's a low cost. Thing. In the end, I would like to apologize for the project submission failure before the deadline because of design part and programming part difficulties. I profoundly thank Texas Instrument Company for showcasing trust and giving us support and wonderful platform. Special thanks to Professor P. N. Kapit for their continuous motivation in this project. Professor Dara Mehta and Amit Degada sir for their continuous support in microcontroller programming part. Thank you very much.